Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind Episode 2. In this one, we're going to start exploring the palace. A book, sure. New Codex, Orzmar History. A uh, couple royal guards. No trouble here. That's nice. Anything over here? No. Trains room. Can't unlock. Okay. Nah, I can't leave that alone. Where'd you go? Who are you? Who's Bill in? What's up? I, I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... forgive me. Who are you? She's, uh... it seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest, um... companions. Prince Balin is attending the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of... of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am sorry. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. <laughs> I don't care. Thank you. I will go now. All right, let's ransack my brother's room. Or, oh wait, wait. Yeah. Let's steal his armoire. Gimme. Hmm. Uh, I am no rogue. Ooh, pile of books. House of Hagrid and Shield of Orzammar. Okay, that's nice. okay, so that's my brother's room. Servant. Royal Guard. I only talk to people with names. Um, to go north, or... I am at your service. Oh. That's my father's room. Not going in there. I am proud <laughs> to serve the I do. Okay, uh, I guess that must be my father since that, I've seen that picture more than once now. You're nameless. Okay, let's go exploring. Nameless, nameless. Throne room. Not going there yet. I want to go to the training ground. Uh, I'll talk to random noble. I went to watch the provings. Most exciting. That's where I'm trying to go. Can't unlock that door. How do I get to the Proving Grounds? I want to kick some ass. I want to learn the combat in this game. I am at your service. That's nice. Diamond core. Wait, okay, hold on. Codex, which codex map? Oh, map, yeah. That doesn't help me. Zoom out? No? Big map? No? Fine. Um. Sure, it's probably outside of here. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I want to find out. I want to find these places because mostly I want to get some combat training for myself. Alrighty. So here we are out Your mingling. Your father allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. Oh, that's nice. Um, looks like I'm not going that way. <coughs> Royal guard. I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. Oh, name. The records. There's nothing I can do. Please, Master Foley. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Balmy. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord, I do. You can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of I Duke and Paragon King, Peacemaker. Going on here. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. What does it say? It doesn't matter. It's all lies. What exactly has he written, Brinton? He says that Volney, the paragon who founded my house, known throughout the world as the greatest of men, was a fraud. Not precisely. When the assembly names a paragon. 
That man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Get to the point. Why are you so angry? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. Mm. I know I said I'm going to play evil, but the, I kind of like Gypsy Jasmos and that I should just go with my with uh, what I think, and really, history is history. The scholar's right. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon, I do? Shut up now, Brunton. Do not order me about like some low-caste peon. This is not finished. Oh? That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? <laughs> What do you think, Scholar? Well, historically, it has been prudent to eliminate a small threat before it becomes larger. Yeah, do the prudent thing. How do you want it done? Publicly. Make sure everyone knows why. Understood. <laughs> Neat! You yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploit you are sure to perform. Word has been sent. He won't live past the hour. Nice! You've shown House Iduka a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. You'll remember this when you write of me. Of course. Heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of House Iduka. Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Good day, Your Highness. And thank you. <laughs> wow, I got to make a life and death situ choice right off the bat. I think I'm gonna like this game. Unnamed, unnamed, unnamed. Can't open that. That's outrageous. You certainly have some gall, merchant. Generic noble. Died with the finest. All right, we got it. Oh, a lesser noble. None of these fighters could hold their own against Sir Blackstone. Silk. My lord Idukin. Hi. You honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? You have something I might want? Not for a mighty warrior such as yourself, my lord, but perhaps a lady friend. Uh, I... I forget myself. I'll be silent. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. How many of our people are on the surface? According to the scholars, more than 500. Does it matter? The surfacers are lost to us. Perhaps we should get going. The Paragon? Why search? The ancestors have risen her up to join them. Okay. How about you? Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. Oh. Our trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. I go where I want when I want to try it. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? Trian. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you get to the feast. I'm liking this game already. It's cute how you think you can order me around. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. 
father will not live forever. Come, Balin. Ignore him. It's my day, not his. Of course, my lord. <laughs> really, though, I'm liking these dialogue choices. I can't go that way. Running low on time. We got an armor merchant. Um, some named people. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and end it here. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind. Stay tuned for episode three, and I hope you'll see me next time.